Welcome to this week's episode of The Better Half. I'm Kendra D. St. Aubin, The Better Half of the Afternoon Show with Gambo Nash, and this is Katie Hartley, The Better Half of the Morning Show with Doug and Wolf. We're going to take a look back at kind of some of the things that were going on this week. Well, let's start with all the lockouts going on, Kendra. We've got the NBA lockout, we've got the NFL lockout, and Ray Lewis had a few words to say about his opinion on the lockouts. Do this research if we don't have a season. Watch how much evil, which we call it crime. Watch how much crime picks up if you take away our game. What do you think that would happen? <sighs> There's nothing else to do, sir. <laughs> well, you can't exactly say that this guy doesn't have any passion, but Ray Lewis is an idiot. I'm sorry, but I think he's an idiot. I don't think that the crime is going to go up if we don't have a football season. Everybody calm down. I believe that morally people are good. They're good people all around. And I'm not really concerned about the crime rate. I certainly am not going to go rob a convenience store or um, commit any type of crime just because there's no football. Am I going to be upset? Yes but I'll be okay. What about you, Kendra? <laughs> well, I think it's funny because, first of all, he thinks that no one has anything else to do besides <laughs> the NFL, which is a little bit on the arrogant side. But secondly, I agree with you. I mean, people, come on, give me a break. It's still just a game. People use the NFL on Sundays to take a break, but I don't think that it's something where every day people are going to be out looting in the streets and rioting because we don't have an NFL season. So love Ray Lewis. Love the passion there because I know he's pretty much that way about everything in life but a little borderline idiotic right there. Yeah, just a little too much, right? We're yeah. not a fan. Yeah, but another team that we're going to talk about today, the Diamondbacks, finally back above 500. Weren't sure if we were going to see this the whole season. What do you mm -hmm. think? Are they the real deal? I'm not sold yet. Not me. I'm sorry. I'm still not completely impressed with the product that's on the field. Last year, at this time, they only won five games less than they have won right now. So I'm, I'm not completely sold. Talk to me in July, and maybe I'll have changed my mind. But you've got to stay above 500 for at, at least, for me, a number of weeks. This isn't the American League. 500 is not impressive to me. Well, and I think, I think they're going to finish about 500 for the season. But to me, even though that may not be that much better than last year, Last year, it's so much better. They win these games differently. Even they're losing the games differently. I really like manager Kirk Gibson. I think he's got the team going in the right direction. So I guess it depends on what, what the definition is. Are, are you sold on this team? Do I think they're going to make it to the playoffs and win the World Series? Absolutely not. But I do think that they're going to stay and hover right around the 500 mark. Well, somebody that does have a winning streak of over 500 is Heinz Ward. He won... Uh, Dancing with the Stars this week. I know I was so happy to see that. I love that show. Do you think Steelers fans are watching it? We had this debate yesterday on Clearly. Gamble and Ash. Like, are hardcore sports people, or is it just the women? Is it just the female Steelers? Do you know guys that are watching this? I, I do know guys that are watching this, especially on Twitter. I wow. see guys watching it all the time, and I think, actually, clearly it is the Steelers fans who are voting for Heinz Ward, um, and I think it's terrific. I love seeing these guys go and compete on these shows that maybe they don't feel comfortable with that do kind of appeal a little bit more to the women. I love seeing that. So he's that. your hero. He's definitely week. my hero this week um, for our Heroes and Zero segment. I, I think, Heinz Ward, you get two thumbs up from me. I just love you. Well, I think the athletes that go on are a little bit of a zero just because it seems what? kind of odd. But I will give them credit for going out and not being afraid to make a fool of themselves. They put on these cheesy outfits with their chest showing and... <laughs> you know, all frilled up. I mean, totally, really feminine. So I give them credit for that. But at the same time, I think it's kind of lame that they go and do this. But, hey, it seems to be the new fad. But definitely, Heinz Ward and all the athletes who have been involved in Dancing with the Stars, kind of a zero for me. I'm going to kind of give them a, a thumbs down. I don't watch Dancing with the Stars. So maybe that's why I'm not a okay. fan. You know, maybe if Adrian Peterson did it. <laughs> Then I might be a fan. That's just because you're a Vikings fan. I know, fan, but he would have to do every single move with a ball <laughs> under his arm just to prove that he can't, you know, he's not going to fumble. Well, that's enough dancing talk for us today. Join us next week for another episode of The Better Half. And if you can't wait until then, follow Kendra on Twitter at Kendra620. And you can follow me at FunKatie620. Thanks for joining us.